I feel like a little Instagram. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about the design and building of this Instagram iPad adapter, I'll call it. So one of the things for this channel, I shoot a, you know, a fair amount of Instagram videos, and I use an iPad attached to a tripod to do that. And one of the things I was using is this plastic bracket I got off of Amazon, and it had a plastic mount on here that went to the tripod, and it was super flimsy. So I decided, what the heck, this is DIY3DTech.com, all right? We're going to build something. So what I did is I set off to Fusion 360, and I designed this mounting bracket. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the design of this and some of the concepts that went into this. Now, it is rather simple. It's just a, you know, flat piece of aluminum. I machined out on the 3040 CNC, and you probably saw me do this. It took me about three tries, because this is a pretty heavy-duty piece of aluminum, but I intended it that way. And when I designed this, um, one of the things I wanted to do is, number one, have a quarter 20 opening here. Wanted to have it mate to a 2040 piece of extruded aluminum or, or maker rail. And then this way I could take, and what I did is drill two holes in here, and then passed in two M5s with uh, T-nuts into the back to mount this. Now, I will place some end caps, 3D print some end caps uh, to go on here to finish this off, make it look real nice. However, the design, I went with a rather thick piece of aluminum for the base for a couple different reasons. Reason number one, I want the bolt and the tripod to, to fully seat into this. So all the threads I want to be tight in here. Now, I could have used acrylic in this, but I decided to go with aluminum instead because I, I definitely want that extra bite because I'm going to have the weight of the iPad plus me touching it on this. So again, very important. The other piece is I'm using a tripod that was designed for a medium format camera, so it has a large base to it. So I wanted to match the base of this to the tripod, so I had a good positive fit to it to dampen any vibrations from the iPad. So I achieved that. Now to do the quarter 20, I want to talk about that a little bit. So I undersized this in the CAD design, so when the CNC milled it out, I left it ab about 0 0.1, 0 0.2 millimeters shy of the proper size. And then I used this mill drill, and I have links to this below, and I've done reviews on this in the past, to actually ream this out and tap it to the proper size. So this way, I didn't run the risk of having this, you know, a loose fit, because I want this to be as tight as possible. I then pocketed these to receive two M5s, which run into here. Now, I wanted to get, uh, you know, a good amount of threading into the... Um, uh, 2040 so the way I set this up um, you know I set the depth to match this because I think these are about 10 millimeter M5s and so there you have it now I also use this uh, step tap to tap the uh, 2040 uh, V slot uh, to mate uh, obviously to the plate and then use this to kind of reach down because what I can do is actually reach down in here to tighten them up uh, and then when I finish this, I'll actually take a little bit of glue, glue this right back down into place. iPad goes on here, and Bob's your uncle. So one of the things, again, the idea of the Design Talk series is to kind of share, you know, not really how or, you know, take it through step by step how I built it. This is pretty simple. You know, I mean, quarter 20, some M5s, and boom, you're done. However, I really want to talk in these episodes about the thinking that goes behind designing the part and share that with you guys. So when you're thinking and you're actually designing parts, you're thinking, hey, I need to leave that hole a little bit undersized and I'll bring it, uh, you know, to proper diameter with this drill tap bit. That way I know first round I'm going to have a good fit. Um, I know I need to figure out my pocket depth for my bolt sizes that I'm going to use and to get the proper fit onto whatever I'm attaching. Uh, also, how do I retrofit a part? And again, I was able to retrofit this part, reuse this, because this is pr this is pretty sturdy. It was the flimsy bracket that did connections and then, you know, 3D printing a part to go in here. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on my design of this. Um, maybe you got something better. I'm always open to listening. Uh, oh, don't forget the bell button over there. Hit, go down there, hit the bell button so you're notified of new uh, content when I put it out. 
what? You're not a subscriber? Hit that subscribe button. I put out regular content. Be sure to check out all the playlists. Swag shops up there. A lot of cool things. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we design something else. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.